Um, welcome to uh, our presentation on trash hoops. Um, the rest of my team couldn't make it today, but I would like to thank you for helping us develop this product that we have. So, our first task was identifying the problem. And there were many problems, but we found that there weren't enough trash cans on the street. And they were either too full, too far, too full, and they're just not fine. And so we decided to come back to that. And so we came up with a solution. Our solution was our product, Trash Hoops. So what is Trash Hoops? Uh, trash Hoops is a product to combat all those apps. We want to make uh, trash cans much more common on the streets. We want to make them less full and to make them more fun. Uh, so what are our goals? So we wanted to completely redesign the trash can. We wanted to make it fun and uh, intuitive. So a weight sensor. That's what really differentiates us from a regular trash can. There is a weight sensor to detect how full the trash can is inside and it is connected to the internet. This data can be used to uh, detect if there needs to be more trash cans in the area or if more frequent pickups need to be used. We added a motion detector. We added a motion detector because weight is, we can't only go by weight because sometimes glass bottles are often thrown out. So a uh, motion detector can be used with the weight sensor uh, to kind of average how, how full the trash can is. So um, why we chose hoops? We chose hoops because it's fun. We want trash cans to be fun and we want to encourage people to throw out their trash. Because trash cans are often really bland and you don't really notice it, but you want to notice these trash cans so people can throw it out. All right. One of our um, perks of our innovation is that it is completely plain. Now, um, we can get an artist to design our trash can, to paint it, to make it lively, because often the city landscape is really bland and it can bring a lot of color into our city. So how we made it. Um, in the center here we have uh, a laser cutter printing out our cardboard model. As you can see, it's changed a little bit. Um, here we have our first sketch of the idea um, in full scale. Um, this one, we use power tools instead of a laser printer, so it's a little bit more rough, but, uh, and we change the design a little. Then that's our 3D printed, and there will be plexiglass behind it. So when people are throwing out their trash, they don't miss. So our marketing plan. What we want to do is pitch this idea to the government and try and get more trash cans on the street, because we can't just do that ourselves. So our consumer. Who is our consumer? Our consumer is mostly people who don't have a lot of time. Because people are always in a rush and you don't have time to hold on to your trash. You just got to get rid of it. So we want people to just throw it up. And it's fun. So I take away. On the back of our, uh, our backboard of the net, we want to put ads. These ads can be compelling ads so people can have a sense of emotional attachment to throwing out their trash. Um, cost analysis. So what, is, so what are the main costs of our product? The main cost in the full scale trash can, the real life size one, uh, would be PVC plastic, um, the weight sensor, and the green. So the PVC would cost around $250, the weight sensor $10, of, or you know, $20. Uh, other miscellaneous parts would be $10, and labor would be $30 for a total of $320 uh, What we hope to improve? Uh, with further development, we want to add an LED on the box, and we also want to add a motion detector and a uh, backboard, because that uh, last version we have. We also came up with other designs in our design process, such as a trash can that goes on the corner, 
and a website. We designed a website that has all the information that I just talked about and a blog with all the projects that we've gone through. Um, I would like to thank you judges for your time. I'd like to thank um, my team and all the volunteers that helped us design this product. Thank you.